Welcome back, folks, to Super Mario Galaxy with star number 52 in hand. It is 52, right? Uh, I think so, yep. Yeah. Boom. Alright, hurry, scurry, complete. Galaxy complete. Ten coins. Woohoo! 937 in Star Wars. A new galaxy. Yay. Way up in the garden? <laughs> like that, it's way up there. I'll get, I'll get to that eventually. Yeah. We've got other ones down here I want to check out first. Sure. Other, other galaxies we haven't even delved into yet. Seriously. So we've got a long walk ahead of us mm -hmm. to get back to the kitchen. Actually, I'm lying, folks. We've got a short walk to the uh, garage area. Then we've got a short flight. Yay! Every chance I get, I use the uh, flying star here. That's an awesome power, man. I'm sorry, that is awesome. What's really cool is, like, it has a bit of a drag to it where it'll slowly start to decrease your altitude, so you got to keep tapping... you got to keep tapping down to angle yourself up, just like flight control. Yeah, and the uh, buddy with the aerosol cans, so he had to just keep spraying. <laughs> yeah. <Okay>. Awesome! <laughs> Alright, let's open this one up. I can't remember the guy's name. <laughs> I love that show, though. <laughs> I'm gonna... you're gonna... okay, now I'm thinking. You're gonna have me thinking all night. Jerry O'Connell, that's it. Oh, I knew the actor's <laughs> name. That's what I'm going with. <laughs> okay, we're heading to Bowie Base. Here we have a lot of uh, stuff going on. Check that out. It's a base in a buoy. Mm -hmm. Or I know some people pronounce that word boy, but... Uh, uh, I think it depends on which part of the world you live in. You know, I always thought it'd be weird, like, you know, look out to the bay, see a bunch of boys floating out there. Yeah. I call them <laughs> buoys. I call them buoys, too. All right, the gear mos are giving us the idea that there's an underwater weight, and, hmm, wonder what would happen if we blow it up. Oh, and he clearly tells us what would happen. The tower in the middle would float up. Really? And there's a penguin. The weight's right down there. Follow me, penguin! We're gonna blow something up! Everyone wants to see that. The penguin splashes. That's cool. He sits there and he splashes. He makes bubbles. He's splashing the gear modes. And as we've seen from the Mecha Koopas, robots in the water don't get along that well. Kinda of makes you wonder why the gear modes are here. They do maintenance on the torpedo TED launchers. Look out! Torpedo TEDs. Uh. But yeah. you kinda of need these. Torpy Teds to blow up the weight. Booyah! Up it comes. Yay! Now we can use this to get higher up on buoy base. Yeah, get up, get some air, dude. And I still can't remember that stupid kid's name. Thank you! <laughs> I remember Quinn Mallory! <laughs> that was his name, yes, that was the kid from my secret identity. <laughs> I can't remember the other name. <laughs> it's sad. Now what I found interesting, of course, we're going way off on a tangent because there's not much to explain right here. We're just trying to get up the base. Pretty much. In, I think, Season 1 of My Secret Identity, the theme song says something about uh, when you need a hand, call Ultraman. I think that was the nickname he gave himself. Yes. But then later seasons, the song changed to... Oh, sorry. <laughs> changed to, when you need a hand, I'm your man. So I think Ultraman is actually a copyrighted name that maybe they didn't know at the time. You know, I think you're right. Yeah, and they realized like they probably had some sort of legal issue with that. So they had to, they had to change it. Yeah. Because I think Ultraman, Makes I think sense. it's actually a Japanese live action Power Ranger type thing. You know, it could be. I'll assume so. There, there, yeah. There's there's quite a few of those things going around. But as you can see from the two pull star chips we already got, we collecting pull star chips. Obviously. Clearly, as I just said. Clearly. Three more to go, and this is another one of those ones where they kind of hide them quite well. Mm -hmm. We need the assistance of Top Man here to get up. Whee! And that didn't work. At least the floods have been deactivated. Mm -hmm. Alright, pull star in here. No, star bits though. That's not bad. Especially for an excessive 100 Luma. 1200. Such I, and such. I think there's <laughs> I think there's worse later. <laughs> we'll not pass judgment on this guy just yet. Keyword yet. <laughs> Alright, all the way to the top. You know, I'm not doing too good on the hunt. I've only got two and I'm already at the top of the base. Hey, uh, th th we're missing something somewhere. Oh I see one. Yeah. I see it now. I fell. 
Oh, yes, you did. Okay. Mm. Let's try getting up there. Top man, I need you again. Whee! Do better. <laughs> boingy, boingy. All right. Now, I should have seen uh, one in particular earlier. There's one right around this lower ring. Is there? Yeah. Mm. I gotta get on the thwomps. I like how in this you can actually land on thwomps. Back in like Mario 3 in Mario World, you anywhere you touch them, you take damage. Yeah. Well, at least they weren't a one-shot kill. Yeah. Well, that only counts if you're under them in this one. Well, yeah. Here we go. So if they squish you against the ceiling, that's not a kill? Okay. <laughs> I'm just thinking here, because sometimes there's a ceiling above the twops, and if you get caught in the middle, I'm thinking that'll be a one-shot kill, too. Okay, I'm an idiot. Thanks for <laughs> pointing it out. I was hoping to hide that from the... Hey, look, I found it. <laughs> Yay! All right. I'm going to go back to the top. Uh, okay. And yes, I'm quiet. I'm still trying to think of that stupid kid's name. I'm looking it up after this. I'm going to feel so bad that I have to look it up, but... Because I used to watch that show all the time. That show was awesome. I could always guess his secret identity, regardless of what the theme song said. <laughs> and more lasers here. Now, I like this section we're on here, this floating little orby platform. It doesn't look like much yet, but wait till I crack the sucker wide open. Ah, puppy! Screw the bolt. And recognize it, folks. Gotta catch them all. <laughs> that would be it. I don't know if it was intentional, but it so much resembles a Pokeball. Like, how could it not be intentional? Uh huh. All right, give me that star. It's really hard to maneuver underwater sometimes. But booyah! We've got star number fifty-three. I think so. I'm saying fifty-three. Let's go with it. And if the number says something different, I can change it with digital... Nope, don't have to. Yay! Unless I already did, and we're just indicating otherwise here. They don't have to know that. Nope. And they're not <laughs> going to. Let's get out of here. Let's. I'm going to... I'm going to go back to Rosalina's bedroom. But I'm going to do it the stylish way. See, it's right over this way. I can just simply walk to it. But they give you red stars all over the place. I'm going to use them. Whee! Look at this. Short flight. Alright, angle myself properly. Whoop. Alright, let's go in. Oh, oh Come yeah. on! You know what? Tell you what, I'm flying in. <laughs> no one's taking my stylish entrance away from me. Let's crack this one open. We get... Honey Climb Galaxy. Now, if you notice from the last one with the uh, bu buoy base, once I completed it, it didn't actually say Galaxy Complete. No. Because technically there is another star you can get in there. Hmm. But for the time being, we're going to move on and check out some new stuff here, which would be Honey Climb Galaxy. Mm -hmm. It's got elements of past galaxies in it, particularly uh, Honey Hive, but it's new. Sure. We'll go with that. It's got a new layout, new setting. Mm -hmm. I'll tell you, I don't remember meteors being in the Honey Hive Galaxy, but we'll get to that when we get to that. This is a whole lot of honey climbing. Fly from platform to platform. You gotta make sure your flight meter stays fully charged too. Landing on the honey will of course recharge it. And we get the moving ones. Which makes no kind of sense at all. It's impossible. Yeah, it works well enough. Sure it does. It's still impossible. Ooh, what's this one do? More moving platforms, or poof! Star bits in the shape of a star. Fun guy. I'll tell you right now, this is a good galaxy if you're looking to collect star bits. Just keep coming in here. Like, I think I'm coming out of this one with like 200 in hand. Mm. And that that is including the uh, <clears throat> the death that I experienced at one point. But I don't think I actually recollect any star bits as a result of that death. We're about to see it in a moment. So here's where the meteors come into play. Joy. And a star bit has no effect. So, yeah. You're gonna have to watch your maneuvering very carefully here. That was close. Yeah, well, you really can't <laughs> cut it any less close than that. No, no, I see that. So, here we gotta maneuver, try and get around these things. 
And ah, dude. Didn't do it. There we go. And then the black hole. Too bad. You know what? 17 lives. I think I'll live with it. Ah, uh, yeah. Okay, power up again. At least they give you the, the B right there, because if they didn't, you'd have to restart this whole thing. No, when it was paused or frozen like that, it kind of looked like um, those day two scrubs with the yellow eyes and it's, Oh yeah, from, like from <laughs> Majora's Mask or yeah. Ocarina of Time. Yeah. Well, clearly that's where they would have got it from. Well, yeah, sure. When you see a Deku scrub, you think Flaming Meteor. Sure, why not? At least I do. I don't know what anyone else likes, but... Yeah. Oh, let me land, let me land, let me land. Oh, no, no, no. There we go. Launch star. Bright lights and colors all around. Yay! I love my video recorder. I might actually get a new one sometime. One that works properly. Mm -hmm. Oh, Manda bugs. Ah! These taste good. And I'm pretty sure if these guys hit you, you lose your B power, which means you'll be dropping back down. Into the black hole. Mm-hmm. Always fun. Be very careful. Jump if you need to. Make sure you're landing somewhere safe, though. Seriously? And uh, right up here. I think we got a big one. And just so you know, ground pounding will probably not work here because I think you would just drop straight down based yeah, on gravity. Yeah, because gravity's down right now. But we got the star. Yay! One death. I think we can survive with that. I think so. I think we're good. Star number 54? Let's that go with that. Really? We have six left? Wow. Hmm, we're almost there. Not looking too bad here, folks. Galaxy complete. Four coins, whatever. And enough star bits for the hungry guy. Mm -hmm. But we're going to save it here and sign off. And we'll catch you next time, folks. And it was Andrew. I think. Still totally spacing on the last name.